What's up, Doc? Oh, bugs, bugs, bugs. It's hard to stay at old McDonald's farm. E-I-E-I-O. It's not funny. Silly bunnies, we need to get dumping. That's right. They will be pulling all the yummy carrots out of the ground and take them some when we can't get them. What are we going to do, bugs? Line up, bunnies. It's time to practice our veggie grabbing tricks. Time, time to, to give, give your nose a twitch. Time to give your nose a twitch. Look at your tail and scratch an itch. Look at your tail and scratch an itch. Reach up high and take your pick. Reach up high and take your pick. Steal a carry, he's a bunny guy tricks. Steal a carry, he's a bunny guy tricks. Yeah! Gotcha! Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. <laughs> like me always have trouble when it comes to raising crops and it's not just those pesky rabbits that cause problems. It seems like it's not one thing, it's another. Did you know that the Bible talks about farming? When we follow Jesus, we are supposed to grow fruit. Let me tell you, raising people to be like Jesus is harder than raising carrots, as you're about to see. Welcome to Mr. McDonald's Farm. We're glad you stopped by and we hope you enjoy the show. Mr. McDonald, you know what they say, a farmhand's work is never done. We've only got one more week to get your harvest in. Well, I'm sorry to say, you've only got one more day. One day? 
What are you talking about, Mrs. McDonald? Oh, my goodness. We've been watching it all morning on the news on the iPad. You know, take a look. Show them what, you, what, what we just found out. This is Twister Test with the weather update. Our latest bulletin shows a cold front from the north, meaning trade winds from the south, fed by precipitation from the east and perspiration from the west. And all that adds up to one big bad weather day tomorrow. So all the farmers in the Tri-County region are urged to get those crops in by sundown. And now back to our regular programming. Well, I'm sorry, gang, but it looks like we've got a pretty big job ahead of us. Not to worry, Mr. McD. I had just the invention you need. It'll harvest those crops in no time. Not another crackpot invention. You know, Alfred, the last contraption you built was supposed to paint the barn. It ended up painting the cows instead. But this one really works. It's all tested and ready to go. Here it is, my latest invention. It slices, dices, packs everything into a bale, and even ties a bow. I call her the XL Magnum Crop Terminator. Just watch. One day your inventions will really help a lot of people. I'm sure of it. Maybe one day, but not today. Mr. McDonald, we're wasting time. We don't need to depend on some machine. I don't need to depend on anyone or anything. I can do whatever needs to be done by myself. Oh, now, Meg, I stopped trying to do things on my own a long time ago. And I can't think of a more dependable co-worker than God. But we've only got one day. How will we ever get this harvest completed in one day, even with God's help? Well, it seems to me that God's been able to do a lot with a really short timetable. Why, Genesis tells us that in one day, he created the heavens and the earth. And in another day, he made the skies and the sea. Why, he even created his children in one day. But the job's so huge, and there's so few of us. Well, that's when you really need to depend on God. You see, God can take something small and do something enormous with it. Like, like when a mustard seed becomes the biggest plant in the garden. Or when a little acorn becomes a mighty oak. Are all of you ready to grow like that? Yeah! harvest. Where do we go first? 
to the NOR 40. Those are the fields where I supervise the planting. All right then, Meg, the NOR 40 it is. Mr. McDonald, Mr. McDonald, bad news, bad news from the North 40. What bad news is he talking about, Meg? I don't know, sir. That's Spud, my foreman. Well, hey, Spud. What's the bad news, son? The crops, Mr. McDonald, they withered and died. We planted them several times, in fact, but they never took root. Oh, I was afraid of this. Did you find many rocks in the soil there, Spud? Yes, sir. Lots of rocks and weeds, too. And whenever we tried putting new seeds down, these big birds flew down and ate them all up. You know, this is exactly what happens when you don't cultivate the soil. Cultivate? What's that? Well, cultivate means to prepare the soil for planting. You know, get rid of anything that might be in the way of the seeds that are trying to grow. May, <coughs> did you cultivate the soil? No, we plowed. Who said anything about cultivating? Well, as a matter of fact, someone had a lot to say about it. His name was Jesus, and he knew more than, about sowing and reaping than any farmer that ever lived. He told his friends a story about it once, and I think it's something that you should hear. of God and applies it to their life, well, that's the one that finds their seeds falling on good soil. And that's the only kind of crop that'll yield a harvest. But what about the rocks and the weeds and the birds? Can that happen to our soil here? Well, I'm pretty certain the soil around here is good. But you always have to be on guard, because rocks can roll, weeds can spread, and tricky birds can pop up just about anywhere. We Love 
stickies. Go ahead, make my day. Go ahead, make my day. I'm scratching and snatching, Maggie, but where is the seeds? Well, I'm sorry, ladies, but this here is good soil. The seeds have already taken root and grown. You're going to have to find poor soil somewhere else. Well, let's find the scoop. Right, Robin? I should say, what in hospitality? Wouldn't you say, Lark? We'll never, ever accept a lunch invitation here again, Maggie. <laughs> It's a good thing our crop is already planted. Well, not just planted, but taking deep root. You see, when you hear the word of God but don't respond, the seeds will just lie on the path, and the birds will come down and just eat them up. But when the message is received, the seeds take root and yield fruit that is a hundredfold. Harvest. Now the birds are all gone. Yeah, no thanks to Alfred. Make my day, make my day, make my day. Meg, you know what I really appreciate about Alfred, though, is that he keeps trying. Yeah, and he keeps failing. Stop it, Meg. You're just jealous because your crops didn't grow. I am not. I told you, I just got some bad seeds. Nothing was wrong with my soil. Well, except for this wheat. See, it was all mixed in with your dirt. Let me see those weeds, bud. The weeds can't grow here. Can they, Mr. McDonald? Well, you never can be too sure, Kelly. Even when the roots go deep, those weeds can sprout up at any time. Hey, have you guys ever heard that story about when Alfred tried to invent an electric rooster? Have you heard the story about Alfred? And once the weeds start to grow, it's almost impossible to get rid of them. And then there was that one time when Alfred was even crazier. Have you heard the story about Alfred? I'm Blabs. I'm Squeals. And, and we're, we're the weeds with the real big bad really rotten rumor.
amazing but true. But now that we've heard about Alfred, we'd like to hear more about you. I'm the Room of Wee. I'm the Room of Wee. I'm the Room of Wee. I'm the story of all she needs. Make a big mess. I'm the Room of Wee. So what is a rumor? It starts as a story. Maybe it's true, maybe not. But once you repeat it, it's hard to defeat it. It's all over town. Assume the weeds know how a rumor can grow. Like a big weed in the ground. I'm a rumor weed. I'm a rumor weed. I'm a rumor weed. I'm a rumor Dirt, have you duck up around here? I'll tell you, Blobs, old McDonald ain't gonna have this hang on much longer. Yeah, like no harvest, no bread man. Alfinito. Bye bye, baby. Bye bye. Signed, sealed, delivered. Ciao. Ciao. Hasta la vista, weed. Yeah. Ciao. Boy, it sure took a lot of weed killer to silence those two. Oh, yeah, weeds are tough, especially when they've been allowed to grow for a long time. Hey, Alfred, I'm sorry I listened to those guys. I weren't really believing the stories they were telling everyone. That's okay, Spud. Man, we are never going to get this harvest on time. It's just a few minutes till sundown, and we still have all those fields in front of us. Well, I'm afraid we've still got one little problem with our soil here. I can see rocks and stones right where I'm standing. Rocks? In this soil? I don't see any rocks. Well, rocks come in many shapes and sizes, Meg. They can be found in a closed mind or a hardened heart. Nothing can grow that isn't open. You know, this, this bad weather we're having that's forcing us to have an early harvest can be looked at in two different ways. On one hand, it's trouble. We didn't expect it. And now, well, we have to bring in our harvest more quickly. But on the other hand, it's a blessing. We didn't expect it. But now, well, by golly, we will have our harvest more quickly. Don't fight the rain, man. Nothing can grow that isn't open.
rain or hard times can help me grow, Mr. McDonald. But I'm learning that I can't do everything on my own. We're going to have to work together, right? Yes, that is right. You see, that's the way we were created, Meg. God knew that we would try and fail on our own. But he loved us so much that he showed us a way back to him. And that way is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way that the seeds of truth will stay planted, take root, and grow to bear eternal fruit. That's not man's way. That's God's way. How can I make that my way? Well, all you have to do is ask. It was in the garden God created man And it was in the garden Man rebelled And sin was set in motion When we turned away from God And the Creator who breathed life in us Could no longer dwell It was in the garden Jesus prayed alone the Savior of the world, God's only Son. He came to earth to rescue and bring back man to God. A willing sacrifice was paid for us. The Father's will was done.
now. It's sure a lot better than trying to do everything on my own. And the Lord will be with you every step of the way. And so will all of your brothers and sisters. That's awesome. But even with God's help, we're not going to get this harvest done on time. It's just a few minutes till sundown, and we still have all those fields in front of us. Uh, I have something that I think might help. Will you go get it for me, Spud? Sure thing. Of course it may not work, and you may have a better idea, Meg, so you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Alfred, I'm really sorry for all the times I've made fun of you and your inventions. I guess I was just jealous because you were so smart, so... Actually, I'd uh, love to see what you've been working on. Yeah, just give us time to take cover. <laughs> Here it is. Wow. 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 What is that? I call this the Super Ram Multi-Drive Turbo Harvester. Batteries not included. How does it work? Well, I can see those fields in front of me. They're ripe and ready for harvest. So if you help me pass the turbo harvester, we'll collect the biggest harvest we've ever had. And you know, this harvest is just the beginning. God wants us to spread the seeds of his love to every person in every land, and that will be a harvest. The farmhands are ready, Mr. McDonald. Well, they sure are. I declare, I have never seen so many acorns turn into oak so quickly. Give them their orders, Meg. Yes, sir. It's 